pose. We're going to lay on your back. You're going to raise your hands, your head, and your feet six inches off the ground. And you're going to look at your toes. We're going to do that breath of fire once again. Let's just do the breath of fire for a moment. Now that everyone's on their stomachs, take your hands on your belly. So hands on your belly. And as you inhale, pop your belly out. So deep breath in. Pop your belly out. You should feel it inflate like a balloon. Exhale and pull it back in quickly. So exhale and pull it in. So breath of fire is simply a quick gesture that's like that. So as we inhale, we're going to blow out our bellies. Exhale, bring it in. And do it repetitively. Inhale, blow out your belly. Exhale, belly comes in. Inhale. arms and head six inches off the ground. It looks like this. You're going to look at your big toe and then you're going to begin that breath of fire, that same extra, that same breath we just did. If you need a modification, you can do one leg at a time, but keep the breath going. The breath work is really the most important part. That's the clearing. This other part is for strengthening and it's for clearing as well, but as long as you have the breath, Go up and down, back and forth with your legs. Twenty more seconds. Do whatever you need to do to stay up. You can do it. You drop to one leg. Keep the breath going. Ten seconds. And deep breath in and lower your legs and relax. Ah, you're always welcome to sigh or laugh or scream or sing or anything Jeez. you need to do. <laughs> Chant the Lord's name. <laughs> Whatever it is that you need to do to really clear. So let's come on to our bellies. We're going to take our arms out in front of us. So you want your elbows and your ears to be in the same line. And we're going to slowly inhale our feet and our arms up in the air like this. So like we're flying, kind of like this, but our arms are going to be in front of us. And again, we're going to do that breath of fire. So you're not going to actively move, but with your breath you may end up moving just because you're going to be pumping your navel. So don't forget that navel pump. That really, again, that's the most important part of this posture. And again, come up and down as often as you like and really use this time to really experience this posture and really explore your body, explore your limits. Push your limits of breath and of physicality. Child's pose. From child's pose, roll up onto your heels. So come into a squat. And just rest here for a moment. Rest in the squat. Think about your tailbone really rooting into the ground. And let's roll up to standing one vertebrae at a time. So hang forward, hinge at the waist, and then slowly one vertebrae at a time. Come standing. And we're going to swing like a pendulum. So just back and forth, really allow yourself to really open. Inhale, and then swing back, exhale. So this should feel pretty gentle. It's also a good opportunity to work out any little kinks. You know where it is that you hold stuff. I have a couple areas that I know whenever I'm stressed or sleep funny or sometimes for no reason at all, though there's always a reason. I'm just not aware of it always right away. Uh, I think, uh-oh, I'm holding tension in said area. So use this gesture to really get into said area and take a deep breath. And you can go slow. 
slowly. If you find an area that really feels really super good to get in there, pause there and take a deep breath. And let your breath relax your muscles. Heal your muscles here. Your heal your ligaments, your tendons. Your breath has an amazing capacity to heal. with your eyes closed, really think about this as being a celebration. You're really waving your body like it's a, a beautiful flag. Whatever you feel like. 